Well, it's been in a rundown state for some time now, and the passage of Hurricane Irene only made matters worse. But now the Rock Sound Police Station has gotten a facelift. The station was officially open today. In this report, Clint Watson tells us what else came along with the makeover. A dilapidated state is how the Rock Sound Police Station was described. Today, it's a whole different story. State-of-the-art, spacious, sound, and welcoming. Thanks to lobbying by residents and the leadership of Inspector Lloyd Roll, who a year ago when he was assigned to the district, took on the responsibility to give the station a much-needed overhaul. He and officer in charge of the Central Bahamas, Albert Ferguson, championed the cause. I weathered the storm, I made a few calls, and I got results, and now I have a Atlantis Hotel over here now. In the past few, well, basically two months, two and a half months, we've been able to transform it Due to the hard work of our maintenance, the officers of our maintenance department, and that, that has really, um, you know, boosted the morale for our people in terms of having a safe place to work, actually work, and being housed properly, you know, is part of the motivation for people to get on with the job. The Rock Sound Police Station also welcomes a new truck, a boat to help patrol the nearby cruise ship Keys. Commissioner of Police Allison Greenslade says it's important to ensure Family Island share the same quality and standards of New Providence and Grand Bahama. We made uh, promises a few short months ago that we'd come back and cause these officers to believe that we truly care. We've done that today. What is required now, um, I'm Clint, is for the officers to appreciate what has happened here. Um, um, certainly to embrace hope again, that an optimism, that, that there is a good future ahead of us as an organization and as a people, and that we must now step out and continue to serve, um, you know, selflessly uh, with smiles on our faces. At the official opening of the newly renovated Rock Sound Police Station, National Security Minister Tommy Turnquist says policing on family islands, which are still relatively peaceful, goes beyond law enforcement but community building. In fact, during the ceremony, a large group of cruise ship tourists from Princess Keys touring the mainland stopped to enjoy the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band, who, diverting from the program, put on a special performance just for the guests. Minister Turnquist says this further supports the significance of adequate resources for Rock Sound. Although the crime statistics in Eleuthera, like that in all of our family islands, is low, we must take proactive measures to ensure that it remains that way. Now, having said that, two murders in Eleuthera in 2011 are still too, too many. The same can be said for the three cases of reported rape and the eight instances of stolen vehicles and the many house and shop breakings. According to Minister Turnquist, the completion of this project represents a partnership between police and the community. The next stop, Governor's Harbor. In Roxana Luthra, Clint Watson, ZNS News.